Hi there, this is Ryer Banta with Western Libraries. Today in this training video, I want to just tell you about a research consultation. We are the people uh, at the back of this room behind that desk in this picture, and we are the closest to you when you're working at the info desk. I'm just going to give you a little bit of an overview of what I think some of the highlights are about what we do. So the first thing I want to point out is that there are lots of ways that students using our service can get help and learn more about research. For example, they can come see us in person, text us, call us on the phone, or send us a chat. We offer a lot of different research help. Some of the most popular things that we do are helping people find sources such as books and articles, uh, using scholarly databases, and help with citations. So that's a bit about what we do. The other thing I want to point out is that we have varied expertise among the different consultants. There's a lot of crossover of our expertise and knowledge, but at the same time we all have different subject areas that we specialize in. This is good to keep in mind when doing referrals. So often you'll point someone to one of us at the desk. The patron's journey may not end there and they may end up getting referred to a specialist who may be a person or perhaps it's a specialized library or location like Heritage Resources, the music library. The last thing that you need to know about research consultation for the purposes of this video is when to send a question to us. When to make that referral. The big picture thing here is that Oftentimes, the patrons that we help, the patrons that you help, will ask questions that seem to be very simple, but often there's a much more complex need that's behind that seemingly simple question. So here are just some examples that I want to highlight that hopefully shed some light on this. So they may ask, where are your journal articles? But they may actually mean or need to know I need to use research databases to find peer-reviewed articles related to high-protein diets for treating pressure ulcers, which is a much more complex thing than the original question. Or they may ask, where do I find a DOI? Behind that, there might be something more complex, such as, I have to properly format an APA citation list, and I need to include a DOI number. But I have other questions about how to properly format citations as well. They may ask, where are the design books? When they in fact mean, I'm doing research on architectural design of the buildings at Western Washington University, and I need a combination of local history materials and architectural design books to provide context. These are just a few examples that I hope shed some light on the complexity behind many of the questions. To get at that complexity, often it's a matter of basically a, a consultation session where there's a bit of dialogue back and forth. Sometimes they don't know themselves that it's so complex. And that's where we step in to help. Okay, so that's it for this video explaining the research consultation. I hope that this gives you a better idea of what we do. And I know that I and the rest of the research consultants really look forward to working with you this school year.